Lance Tormey with Colonial Lawn and Gardens, Lance Forsey. Thanks, Lance, for joining us. Um, well, uh, I've taken care of my yard. Now I got the I got the beds, and I got a lot of these bushes that I wish were a lot smaller. I wish I could just go out here and trim them. But you say hold off right now in trimming a, a bush like this, right? Well, yeah, this magnolia is just getting ready to bloom in another week or two. It, it'll be beautiful in color. If you were to prune it now or even a couple of weeks ago, you're going to cut off all the bloom. So what you want to do is let it do its show. That's what it's the, the primary purpose of having a shrub like this. Right. Right. Spring bloom. Then you can go in, and if you're going to reduce the size or any kind of pruning you want, do it then. Same with the yellow forsythia, which are coming out in bloom right now. Lilac, similar, is going to come on a little bit later. Let it do the show, then do the prune. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are cleaning up their yards and having their their, their uh, trees and bushes trimmed at this time of year. But hey, if, you, if you've got these beautiful things, let them, like you said, uh, bloom and then take care of them. But I've also got problems in all my beds. I got a lot of dead weeds, uh, dead uh, dead leaves, yep. weeds, stuff like that that I all need to clean out. Get yep. out here, of course, with a, with a rake. But um, what can I do to keep the weeds down? Well, number one, I mean, you know, we've had those wind storms, which so don't beat yourself up. It blows the leaves around. You got to get those out of the way first. Clean them up. That'll make room for you to put the uh, weed control products down. Similar to what we talked about in treating turf, there's a pre-emergent herbicide that we can put down that won't hurt your plants, but they'll inhibit uh, weed seed germination. So the key again is timing. It needs to be on here in the next couple of weeks before the weeds start germinating. In terms of my, my, my evergreen bushes, any time of year I can... Pretty much you can prune those any time. And, and uh, same with most trees. It's just You just have to be careful about the bloom and why you're pruning. You gotta think, why am I pruning and why is this tree even here? Here's a, a flowering cherry, which it could use some thinning out. Which thinning cuts can be done any time you would like. But any time you're cutting this, these ends off, this is where all the bloom's gonna happen. Mm. You're just cutting it off. So mm. again, it'll be blooming here in the next month. I'd hold off. So hold off until the flower is gone, and, and this, you just see the leaves there, and then you can start, start yeah, you trimming. You can see it's getting real yeah. close. Right. Thinning cuts could be done. Dead wood could be cut out. There's dead wood up there. That can be done any time of the year. Just when you're cutting the foliage or the pre-bloom stage, that's where you want to be careful. Or you're not going to hurt the plant. You're just going to remove the uh, color. Excellent. So, right. You've lived with it this long. Wait a little bit longer. Exactly. Exactly. Well, some tips for you there on how to take care of your yard and your uh, your bushes in your yard uh, from News Talk KIT.